Since I lost everything, my dreams have been pitch black. I felt like a castaway floating in the void. Earth is on the verge of destruction. There was some mysterious calamity and more than half the population died. The survivors eke out a meager existence in the few remaining habitable territories. I can't remember when I started to hear the voices in my dreams. They kept promising me a way to save my planet, to save my home. <laughs> when you're desperate, you truly hold on to anything. Are you all right? Yeah, that was close. Are you sure the Blue Jackets won't patrol this area? These buildings could collapse any moment now. They won't follow us. Believe Aunt Avril. Let's go. We are near. I can feel it. place let's find a way to get to it without breaking our necks i don't know ave follow me and be quiet home by nightfall boring seriously Abe yeah sorry how is your mom dr. Bateman is treating her she'll be okay but my father I don't know near here. Avril. Pretend it's just a trip. Follow me. You remember the time we shushed those brats so hard the usher kicked us out? Oh, yes. It was during the Burning Streets premiere. Damn, I miss those days. Me too. Let's go. I don't want to be here when this place finally decides to collapse. We're almost there. Did 
we really come here just for two ancient gods that told you to come here while you were sleeping? Yep. If I die, my family will be screwed for good. You know that, right? I'm the only one that... Come on, slowpoke. This is the spot. This is the dumbest thing we have ever done. No, Mila. This is the dumbest thing we have ever done yet. Why the hell do you have to be so reckless? Because I have something called faith. You should try it sometime. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I guess. Wait, this place is... Avenge your sister. Avenge your sister. Avenge your hey, sister. Hey, can you hear me? find the strength to recover what was lost, but never forgotten. My name is Moon. Through my wisdom and love, may you leave your former glory. Now rise. 
Keeper of Balance. What the? That dream felt different than usual. I felt so powerful all of a sudden. That was just a glimpse of what you'll become. Thanks to our enlightened guidance, my dear child. Whoa! You guys are real. Are, are you talking to me through my mind? And what is this place? Am I still in London? Have no fear, my beloved. From now on, we'll always be by your side to guide you through your mission. Okay, this can't be real. Mila, if you can hear me, give me a big slap and wake me up. Your friend is not here, champion. But don't worry, you'll be able to talk to her soon. For now, just focus on learning about your new powers. Your soul is still dazed by the communion with us. In order to restore your weapons, you need to find a fountain of fortitude. Of course, a magical fountain. I'm sure there are plenty of them in London. Concentrate and follow the soul fireflies that are connected with your spirit. They'll show you the way. Those dreams were true. Ah, I knew it. Take that, Mila. I could really save Earth, although I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do it. Concentrate, champion. Follow the fireflies and reach the fountain. That's the place, young one. So, do I drink from it, or do I have to sing some kind of mumbo-jumbo spell? I have to warn you, I'm pretty terrible at singing. Just listen to the echo of the countless souls that flow through it. Don't worry, it will come naturally. Here goes nothing. This is so cool, but um, how do I use this exactly? The artifact that you hold is our precious gift. It contains all the memories of your predecessors. Thanks to them, you'll be able to fight with extreme prowess. Uh-oh, uh, this doesn't look good. Are, are they real monsters? Actual scary man-eating monsters? Be ready for your first trial, child. And don't worry. You'll never be alone.
intoxicating. Of course, my dear. And this is just a fragment of what you'll be able to achieve. Now, you need to search for the Fountain of Wisdom. By attuning to it, you'll recover your mental powers and be complete once again. Great! Oh, I'm so hyped up. There's truly hope for Earth. Wait for me, Mila. The Chosen One is coming to the rescue. And how can I... No. Focus, Avril. One thing at a time. Fountain and Mila first. Questions about the fact that I became a savior that talks with gods on an alien planet? Later. my language? Tribe. I'm in your debt, Avril of the Human. Don't mention it. I know it may sound silly, but can you please tell me where I can find a fountain of wisdom? Not now. My village is under siege by the Destroyers. I tried to fight them, but... The Destroyers? You mean those creepy little monsters? Yes, they are our sworn enemy. Please help us. Without you, many of my friends will die. We could sense the fountain is near the alien village. Go now, champion. I'll do what I can. Lead the way. Follow me. The village is nearby. Keep your guard up. They might ambush us. Right. Hey, have you seen another human? She's a smarty pants who always looks angry. First, we need to save everyone. Then I'll ask my father. We already told you, Chosen One. She's safe. Just focus on your task for now. I truly hope so. Who are you talking to? Some superior being that lives inside my head. Head. Okay. That didn't sound right.
We need to hurry. Oh, I hope they haven't reached the main gate yet. Those bastards will pay for what they've done to us. Or it's just everywhere. This place is not so different from Earth Island. Sheila, we have a battle to win. Look, here they are. Don't let them hurt my people. Go get them. The human. Okay, I think that was the last of them. Whew, being a hero is rough. <laughs> what? One of them is fleeing! Leave him. He'll tell his wretched friends that they don't stand a chance against the Builder Tribe. Thank you, warrior. You did a great service to my tribe. My name is Kahilas, Warden of Halaya. She saved me and the village, Dad. Maybe thanks to her, we'll be able to... Don't talk about that in front of everyone, Sheila. It's too dangerous. Oh, okay. So how can we repay you for your kindness? I need to reach the Fountain of Wisdom. Can you show me where it is? Interesting. Care to tell me why? Well... Oh, well, it's complicated. It all started with... I see. So you are the keeper of balance. Finally, someone will be able to fix the chaos that brought so much pain to our people. Wait, do you mean that Grisha had our same fate? I... I don't understand. What caused all of this destruction? Every planet in the galaxy suffered, but only Earth was almost destroyed. And don't worry, by mending the core, you'll be able to help them as well. And soon, we'll tell you everything about what happened that day. Patience, brave champion. Sheila, can you escort our warrior to the fountain? Sure, Dad. Come on, Avril of the Human. Follow me. Thank you, Kahilas. Godspeed, warrior. <laughs> Whoa, this village is so lively. I just need to concentrate and... sweetest lamb. Now that you have awoken your mental powers, you're ready to fulfill your destiny. Am... am I dead? Don't you dare! First you need to move your sorry butt and tell me what the hell is going on! Mila! Sun and Moon were right, you're alive! Yeah, barely. I'm hiding inside some sort of cave, but somehow I listen to everything. Um... This planet is literally made of caves, but I'll find you, I promise. Are you talking to yourself again? Oh no, I need to call an apothecary. Don't bother. Remember the superior beings in my head? Now I have a new annoying one. You brought me on this suicide mission and you call me annoying? Oh, just wait until... I missed you so much, Mila. Uh, so what now? Do you want to come here or what? 
she's near the core of this planet, Chosen One. You'll need to find a way to get in there. Oh, right! The core! That's the whole reason we came down here in the first place. Lucky you, Mila. You're right where we wanted. Hooray! You want to reach the core? But that's impossible, friend. Izanik's powers are blocking the way, and... Izanik? He's someone you don't want to mess with. You won't stand a chance against him. Not yet. Please, I need to know. My friend is in danger, and I need to get there fast. In that case, you'll need to help us with another problem, with the destroyers inside the Valley of Lydia. Don't waste time with them, champion. Your mission to save Earth is our only priority. I would love to help you, but I don't have time. Sorry, but we can't do anything until we've got rid of those monsters in the valley. Eradicate them, and we'll do what we can to support your cause. Ugh, what a pain in the neck. Sorry, Mila. You'll have to wait a little bit longer. If I die here, my ghost will haunt you forever. No pressure. Thank you. Sheila, go with her and reach Gothra. She'll cover the details. Okay, show me the way. The destroyers are a real problem around here, huh? Hmm. Sheila, what are you doing here? And who is this ugly alien? Ugly? Have you seen yourself? Wait, Gothra, she's Avril of the Human. She helped us at the village. Kahila sent us here to fight. This puny creature fought against the destroyers? Don't make me laugh. This is unforgivable. Without our help, they would be doomed. I don't like her, but maybe it's better to keep a low profile for now. Listen, Gothra. Come in peace. And I just to aid your tribe with the destroyer problem. Oh, please, let me I can do. <laughs> Very well, then. Burrs raided three of our mining site. We need to eradicate the or the village will suck of resources. Okay, to kick their butts, and everything will be fine. To underestimate those creatures. Time's worthier than you hand.
welcome guests. As expected. Jeez, why do you guys keep on fighting, don't... fix it, but it will take time. I suggest you go back to the village and rest in the meantime. Thank you, Alien. I underestimated you. Yes, Gothra is right. Let's get back home. Wait, Sheila, don't go alone. It's too dangerous. Damn, this is going to take ages. Ah, stay positive. At least you don't have to watch spiders eating each other above you. now and I still don't understand how we can breathe around here. You spoke with aliens like a natural and all you
you care about is that? about Izanik. Yeah, why is everyone so scared to talk about him? He's our chieftain, and he ruled over the builders with an iron fist for many years. He executed everyone who dared to defy his word and created a regime of terror. God, I already want to punch him in the face so badly. for you. Dad, we have terrible news. The destroyers made the bridge fall, and... Yeah, it seems like it's going to take a lot of time that I don't have. I'm sorry, warrior, but I fear that the bridge will be the least of your problems. What do you mean? Izanak wants to meet you. He's impressed by what you did for us. Dad, no! Mm, I should have expected it. I'll open the door to his chamber for you, and please be careful. Meet me outside once you've finished, and make sure that no one is following you. I know that face, and something's telling me that you're going to do something stupid, Abe. Ugh. Pleasure. Don't push your luck, Abe. It looks really dangerous. Your power impressed me, and your help against the destroyers was priceless. Would you consider joining my personal army? If you lend me your powers, I can make you immensely rich and powerful. You would rule at my side for all of this. What blasphemy! Our powers are not to share with some dirty power-craving monster. Not interested. Sorry, I'm not suited to become a puppet. Oh, what a shame. My servants told me that you came to the Elf of Forever, right? Yes, she's somewhere near the core. Would you kindly help me with that, or are you too busy torturing your royal subjects? Great, now he knows where I'm hiding. That's none of your business. is over, but don't worry, big guy. I'm sure you'll find other minions. Okay. 
Now that we are here, do you mind telling me what's going on? We've been conspiring against Azanok for a real long time, but no one is powerful or brave enough to stop him. But you, you might have a chance. We just need to help you to prepare to confront him. I don't know, Abe. It seems like they want to use you for their own purposes. Yeah, that may be true, but that guy needs to pay, that's for sure. And if I don't defeat him, I'll never reach the core. Why is he so obsessed by it anyway? Because his brother, Imlok, became the Guardian instead of him. And now all he wants is to become strong enough to take his place. His brother is the Guardian that I'm supposed to beat? Seriously? Yes, he's the most powerful being on Grigia. And thanks to all the energy we've gathered, Izana might take his place soon. What's the big deal with becoming the Guardian anyway? The Guardian lives in symbiosis with the Core to protect it. In exchange, he has given immortality, absolute power, and wisdom. Oh, great. One good news after the other. To be honest, I don't know if I stand a chance against Izanak. I can't even think about getting near Imlok. I acted cocky back there, but I don't know if I can make it. You want to reach the Core to heal your planet through his powers. Am I right, Avril of the Human? Yes. And it seems that I will also be able to restore balance on Grisha as well. Or so Sun and Moon said. I don't know how you're supposed to do that, but I trust you, warrior. We both want Izanak down, so let us help you to become stronger. Sure. Do you have a plan? Meet us at the blacksmiths inside of the city. That's the first step. He's right. In order to defeat Imlac, You'll need to become stronger, and Izanak will be a decent proving ground for your skills, champion. Since he has proven to be a blasphemous creature, we have no objections to his demise. Listen, Ave, I know you want to help me, but... Don't worry, Mila. We'll find a way out of this mess, like we always have. Restoring Earth is all that matters, right? Yeah. Welcome, warrior. Let me introduce Gun Gun, our finest blacksmith. He's a true master in runecrafting. This little tadpole is the one who will face his onik. <laughs> That's interesting. Nice to meet you, Mr. To- um, Gun Gun. I talked with him, and we think he could improve your weapon by applying a mighty rune to it. Can you show it to him? Oh, yeah, sure. By all the sacred dark here. Yeah. I have never seen anything like that. What a masterpiece. Yeah, we told you. Do you think you can handle it? Who do you take me for? Of course I can. Or my name is not Gungan Softbelly with countless wrinkles. What kind of surname is that? The only problem is that to craft a rune worthy of such a weapon, I need a lot of fine crystals from the Valley of Letia. Let me guess. The destroyers control them, and I need to make a clean sweep. Don't worry. Leave it to me. <laughs> I like your spirit, youngling. Wheel. Fate. Turning. Winds. Change. I don't want to sound paranoid, but I think that there's a creepy old guy trying to spy on us. He's one of the Makalot. They are nomads who travel around to spread their wisdom and their ancient knowledge of the planet. New. Chosen. Awful. Omen. People listen to entire stories from them? <laughs> I would fall asleep in five seconds at that speed. What are you waiting for, lad? Bring me the crystals. We have no time to waste. Oh, right. On my way.
encounter with Izanek must have awakened some of your sleeping powers. Maybe it was your hatred for him. Or maybe he made you more aware of your role in the fragile balance of the universe. Only you know the truth. I don't know what it... But it makes me feel longer. And foresee the future. But you are far from completely sure. It will happen again. Big boy, you look like a basketball mascot on steroids. That is a hybrid, my dear. To be this abomination, you'll need to use both your physical and mental skills. should be able to gather these crystals easily. Looks like one of them managed to flee with some of us during the brawl. Wait, I think I already saw that little guy at the village. Maybe it's just me, but it felt like he didn't want to fight. Whatever, let's finish this work and go back to the village. Hey, Abe, once I'm out of here, you'll let me try your sword, right? You wish.
So my weapons can be upgraded. with runes, huh? That sounds pretty cool. Runes from powerful warriors who left their legacy even after death. They are amplifiers for the amulets we gave you. That's why it feels natural to fight, even if I never did it before. Yes, and some of your latent powers are still dormant. 